What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. We've got another viral videos binge for you all today and I absolutely love doing these. They're so much fun. For those of you that are new to the channel, every few months I collate a load of videos of sharks and rays doing their thing in the wild that have gone viral on social media and talk you through them. Coming up today then, we've got some crazy shark feeding frenzies in Louisiana, some friendly fishermen helping out a bronze whaler and this pretty epic CGI megalodon attack video that I'm sure loads of you have already seen. Up first though, we've got a pretty crazy story of a very rare shark species that has washed up in the UK. So this one happened a few weeks ago and it went absolutely crazy online. Essentially, a woman stumbled across a six foot shark in the shallows on a beach near Hampshire here on the south coast of the UK. Pretty bravely, she just popped into the water alongside it and tried to push it back out to sea. Props to you, Alicia. But then sadly, a few hours later, it had stranded again and eventually died. After it had stranded, the pictures started spreading around online and people were trying to figure out what species it was. And there was a fair few people thinking it was the usual suspects, you know, your Mako sharks or poor beagles. But if you're a keen shark science fan and follow me on Twitter, you'd have seen we were discussing that it didn't really look like any of those sharks at all. The nose was just a bit too long and the caudal fin shape was completely different. What it did look like was a small tooth sand tiger shark. And to my knowledge, it would be the first official occurrence of that species in the UK. Okay, admittedly, they are found around France and Spain and they're all over the Mediterranean, so it's not too much of a leap to find them here in the UK. It is still pretty cool though because we can now add a range extension for that species that includes UK waters. Annoyingly, some trophy hunters managed to get to the shark before the scientists could and decapitated it, taking off its head and its fins, which made it significantly harder for the scientists to accurately confirm the species. They were eventually able to do some genetic analysis though and did confirm that it was was indeed a small tooth sand tiger shark. Then a few weeks after that stranding, there was another one of the same species in Ireland. We did do a separate video here on Shark Bites about these two stranding incidents. So if you did want to learn a little bit more about it, then make sure you wait to the end screen of this video or you can click that link there. Okay, up next, we've got this aerial shot of a manta ray swimming around an offshore oil rig in Trinidad. So this one was going pretty mad on Reddit a few months back. I think it got something like 20,000 upvotes. And what we're seeing here is an oceanic manta ray, which is the largest species of ray that we get in our oceans. These giant black and white flappy boys can have a wingspan of up to nine meters. That's nearly 30 feet. So when this video started going viral, there were loads of people online saying you can see how big it is because that's a shark swimming over the top of it there. Now, it's impossible to know for sure, but I'm fairly certain that's actually a cobia swimming above the manta and not a shark species. It does make more sense for it to be a cobia as these are regularly seen swimming with mantas. Cobias hang around manta rays in the hope of getting an easy meal and maybe also for protection as well. Just because it might be a cobia though doesn't diminish the size of that manta ray. Cobias can still get to be the size of a small to medium sized shark. We're talking maybe four to six feet long, so the manta in that video probably has a wingspan of somewhere between 20 to 25 feet. That's a wingspan that's longer than the height of a two-story house unbelievably massive. Right, the next few videos are gonna be the particularly bad ones for this viral videos binge. And these are the videos where people are doing stupid shit with sharks that they definitely shouldn't be doing. So up first, we've got this plonker who thinks it's a great idea to swim over to this whale shark and jump on its head and back. <sighs> It looks like this is in Hawaii. Now, I know Hawaii has a number of marine animals that are on that protected species list, which means it's illegal to touch or harass them in any way. I'd have thought that whale sharks would be on this list for Hawaii, but I'm not 100% sure. So if there are any Hawaiian Shark Bites fans out there, please do let me know in the comments. So not only could this potentially be a crime, but it's also really, really bad for the whale shark as well from a biological perspective. Marine animals, including sharks and rays, often have a layer of mucus on their skin. And this is why sometimes they can look a little bit or feel a little bit slimy. Scientists are still trying to find out exactly what this mucus layer does, but the leading research suggests that it's to do with protecting them from bacteria or parasites. So if you're touching, or in this ridiculous case, jumping on the head or back of a whale shark, that's gonna damage that mucus layer, which is not gonna be good for the shark. Please, for the love of God, do not do this. And if you see anyone doing this, call them out on it. Right, okay, next up we've got this video here. Now, I'm not sure exactly where it's been filmed, but it's probably somewhere around the Caribbean or Florida. But we've got these nurse sharks here chilling out on a dock, which a lot of people might think is pretty cute. The bloke filming decides he's gonna pet them on the head, which for the reasons that we've just mentioned about the mucus layer is not a good thing to do. But the reason that these nurse sharks are even there in the first place has some pretty negative connotations as well. These sharks have clearly been fed by people from this dock, probably fish scraps or other discards, and eventually they've become habituated to that feeding. So 
will come back again and again in the hope that they'll get some food. And this is a complete change in their natural behavior and isn't good for them at all. So not only should we not be touching sharks, we definitely shouldn't be feeding them either. Now, every time I post a video like this one and discuss it, I always get someone in the comments piping up saying something along the lines of, well, if the shark didn't like it, it would just swim away. And that comment always makes me want to rip my hair out. In this example here that we've just watched with the nurse sharks, they're not going to swim away because the urge for food is greater. And it's because they've been habituated that they are desperate for that food. So they aren't gonna swim away when they're being touched. Most examples you'll see of people touching sharks, not all of them, but most are because those sharks have become habituated to humans. Bad, don't do it, stop touching sharks. And here's an example of this habituating effect happening in the wild in this next viral video clip. This one here I think was taken in Utila in Honduras, which is in Central America. Utila was actually where I did my dive master qualification back a good few years ago now. And you can see in this video here, this nurse shark incessantly trying to get that lionfish out of the cage. And this is probably because at some point in time, someone has fed that nurse shark some lionfish that they speared and eventually the nurse shark has thought to itself well spearfishers equals food at some point in time it's probably going to start trying to approach spearfishers and divers even when they don't have food in the hope that it's going to get fed and potentially this shark is going to bite someone because of it nurse sharks can pack a real punch when they bite which is easily strong enough to take a finger off thank you all for coming to my ted talk on why touching sharks is bad right we're moving on before i actually start to get wound up now, this is a pretty epic shark viral videos clip. The video, which I think was taken in Louisiana, appears to show hundreds and hundreds of sharks in a feeding frenzy. The person who filmed it initially thought it was a tuna boil, which is where tuna attack a bait ball of fish and there's so much action in the water, it makes it look like the sea is literally boiling. But when they got a bit closer, they realized they weren't tuna at all, but were actually sharks. It's really tricky to tell exactly what shark species they are, but based on their location, I'd be inclined to say they were black tip sharks. Realistically, there's probably a number of different shark species thrashing around here. But what they're doing under the surface is feeding on a tightly packed bait ball of fish and it's an absolute feast for them. Honestly, I've never seen a bait ball feeding frenzy with this many sharks in it. It's absolutely wild. There's got to be hundreds, if not thousands of sharks there. That is definitely not the time to fall into the water. <laughs> Ah, yes, okay, so I reckon a fair few of you will have seen this one doing the rounds over the last few weeks. I swear I had about 10 different people send it to me. To be fair, I think the videos that this CGI wonder kid makes are actually really cool. They've done an alien attack one before, I think, but here's a Megalodon one. In this person's eyes, this is what it would look like during a Megalodon attack. But the grumpy, realistic shark scientist in me was watching this and just criticizing it to pieces. So first up, you've got the size of the Megalodon, which is way bigger than what it should be. Megs were probably around 15 meters long, not 20 that size like we're seeing here. Then it chows down on a big metal army ship, smashing it to absolute smithereens, which it definitely wouldn't be able to do. And then after the helicopter crashes into the water, the Megalodon spots you, the tiny human floating around, and decides that it's going to eat you. A tiny insignificant meal. Nah. Oh, I know, I know, I'm such a killjoy. I liked the video to be fair, I thought it was really cool, but they've definitely got a fair whack of information about Megalodon wrong there. Okay, up next, we're heading over to Western Australia where some fishermen have caught themselves a bronze whaler shark. First off, look at the size of that bronze whaler shark. I don't think you often get to appreciate the size that some of these medium-sized sharks can get to. That shark is probably a good seven to eight feet long. Anyway, it turned out that the bronzy had a load of hooks in its mouth, probably from previous anglers who hadn't removed them properly after they'd hooked the shark. But thankfully, these fishermen decided they were gonna remove all of the hooks and lines from this particular individual. I think it was a total of six hooks embedded into its mouth. It's definitely one to be careful with though. Bronze whalers are notorious biters and have been responsible for a number of bites on humans down the years. And when you look at the size of that head, that shark is easily capable of causing serious damage. This is one of those ones where you're probably okay touching that shark for a short period of time because you're doing a good deed there and getting the hooks out. So I'm not gonna berate those fishermen. Okay, next up, we've got a couple of pictures here taken in the Philippines. So the person who uploaded it to Facebook was asking for an ID on the whale and some pretty knowledgeable marine mammal specialists suggested that it was a dwarf sperm whale. I'm not a specialist on whales though, so I can't verify that for sure. Some of you are probably asking though, Chris, what's a whale doing? on shark bites. Well, I'm not really here for the whale, but what I did notice on the side of the body was those strange circular bites. And I'm pretty sure those are bites from cookie cutter sharks. 
little buggers. Cookie cutters will venture up from the depths where they spend the majority of their time to occasionally feed on larger marine organisms like whales or dolphins. They'll latch on with those circular shaped mouths and tear perfect cookie shaped chunks out of the flesh, which you can see pretty clearly here in these pictures. So I don't know if the cookie cutters had taken the chunks out of that whale before or after it died, but it's still pretty awesome to see evidence of what these sharks can do. And then finally, we're back over to Australia here where this shark decided to sneak up on a few spearfishers. I love drone footage like this because it allows you to see just how close sharks can get to people without them even realizing. Anyway, this particular shark decided to head over to these spearfishers who were swimming around some rocks and properly shits up this guy here. <laughs> To be fair, if you're minding your own business one minute and then suddenly you look behind you and there's a pretty decent sized shark, you definitely jump a little bit. Fortunately for these spearfishers, I'm almost 100% sure that the shark in question here is a grey nurse shark, so realistically they were pretty safe. The splashing from the guy who realised there was a shark actually ended up scaring that raggy off, so you can see they can be quite timid on occasion. I just love that reaction though from the one guy here. <laughs> He has definitely got to go and change his underwear. So there we are, guys. That's your latest viral videos binge from the last few months. Although if you haven't quite had your fill yet of crazy shark viral videos, then make sure you stick around to the end screen of this video where you're going to be able to choose between two previous ones we did right here on Shark Bites. There's always something new to learn in these viral video binges, so they're definitely worth the watch and you'll be able to click on them in about 10 seconds. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please, please do give it a like. You really help out the channel every time you click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below by clicking that big red subscribe button. Make sure that notifications bell is turned on and that way you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.